All right, this is episode 11 of Hidden Shadows of the Secret Chamber. <laughs> where we give you our review of movies you might not think you ever will watch. Or you might watch them after you hear us. Yeah. Or movies that you don't like at all. And we'll just review them for you. In because like you want us to share in the pain because you're that kind of person. <laughs> yeah, because you watched it. You're like, this movie sucked. I want to make other people suffer with us <laughs> in the shit that I, that I went through. The movie we watched tonight for your Kung Fu Friday was actually a recommendation by uh, one of our guests uh, that... Uh, uh, Damn it. <laughs> his, name is, his name is Keegan. <laughs> he recommended yeah. it last episode, so we, we took his word for it. The name of the movie was... The Samurai of Ayothaya, which was made in 2010 and is based on a true historic figure uh, during this era. The film depicts the life of Yamada Nagamasa, a Japanese adventurer who gained considerable influence in Thailand and became the governor of Nakhonsi Thamarat province in southern Thailand. Recognize that name, y'all? All right, let's let's go into a couple introductions. Where have I heard the name before? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's Myron. Yeah, that's Myron. Yeah, <laughs> no one is. It's a weird thing, <laughs> yeah. ladies and gentlemen, in uh, the house of Trong, which is you know, cons and Nikon's What? Help. Wait, no, wait, no. We're still. What are you? You can't just give away locations like that, Alex. Okay, we are in the this hidden is shadow the, the secret inside chamber. of the secret chamber. All right, secret <laughs> chamber. There's a secret chamber within the secret chamber, and and Nikonsi has a secret name, <laughs> which Khan revealed earlier, and y'all are just gonna have to piece it together. Okay. But anyways anyways what have you guys been watching lately well well let me hear what's up guys i'm i'm alex I'm are you the shadows yes well then i can i be con you can be con that sounds like a good idea who do you want to be uh yeah i what, what we that? should we should uh, we should call him the con i think that's yeah. yeah don't yeah, be shy yeah. just say the say the name I don't see him. you can say the name <laughs> 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 That's the Conti guys. That's shy boy over there. And we got a uh, guest speaker, guest guest host today. His name is Andrew. This is my little bro. Say what's up. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Damn. 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 Listen to the bass in that voice. Um, we wanted to go into a few things that we've been watching lately, guys. I've been watching a dope show called The Angus's. Oh, the ancient Angus's bride, ancient Magus. Ancient Magus. Magus. You had like three different words <laughs> in your mind. I'm like, Angus, you about to talk about steak? So <clears throat> you got beef. See <laughs> medium rare Angus beef steak, please. It's because he's got a blue s- rare. He's got like a steer head. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Nikonzi cut here. <laughs> um, yeah, the ancient Magus's wife, um, bride, bride. God bless it. <laughs> bride is different than wife. The yeah. ancient Magus's <laughs> bride. They're not married yet. They're not. They gonna get married. That show is amazing. I've only watched like three episodes of it so far, but um, I yeah, I it's, mean, it's pretty it's pretty magical. Um, I feel like I'm watching something out of uh, Ghibli, Ghibli or Ghibli, Ghibli, Ghibli Studios, just with the vibrant colors and the animation. The story is like they're giving you so little at once and it's just kind of unraveling itself slowly but in such a satisfying way um which is like what you know most good animes will do for you so i highly recommend watching it what's interesting is that this show is like a magic slice of life show but it feels so epic when you're watching it yeah like uh, the the way they break everything down and the animation is absolutely beautiful. No, for sure it's sick. Um, uh, Andrew, why don't you tell us what you've been watching, homie? So, like, does it have to be, like, an anime or something? No, anything. Um, I recently watched uh, the film Jim and Andy. Oh. Ah, I've yeah. I've been wanting to give it... Yeah, yeah, the, the Jim Carrey, like really behind the scenes of him and his acting techniques and 
it's a mine. Like, we paid this guy <laughs> millions to mentally damage himself. It's pretty crazy. Damn. So, Jim, what is it? Jim and what? Jim, Jim and Andy. And that's on Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Okay. So I want to check it out for sure. Uh, everybody knows me. I like to talk about games a lot. But I also try to relate it to anime when we, and other content that we watch. So let me start with Starship Troopers is my favorite movie. <laughs> I love that movie. I rewatched it. It was amazing, which lended me to rewatching Hunter x Hunter because for whatever reason, I I actually do have this on my list of like things I do together. I don't know how they relate. <laughs> That's but, fantastic. Hunter x Hunter. So I watched the original series, uh, like basically at the end of elementary school into middle school. And the Concy downloaded it for me, and I was in love with it all throughout the entirety of its series, including its OVA. But the author frequently gets ill, and so there are long hiatuses, just long, like, three years of, like, when's the next chapter? It doesn't exist. Why? Which leads me to, there was a 2011 reboot, and I only watched a couple episodes because I was, like, basically nostalgia, like, forcing nostalgia on myself. Like, it's not the same. Yeah. It is amazing. It is so beautiful. Everything suddenly is, like crisp with the like same style like can you re can you imagine if naruto was was remade but only to use shippuden's art yeah that would all be of insane. a sudden you're like the first like three arcs of naruto are like insanely good now whoa yeah no seriously and then speaking of hunter x hunter leads me to akira toriyama because the author is inspired by him which is dragon ball fighter z is an insane, amazing fighting game. Give them your money. <laughs> <laughs> does does that game have... I, I saw the trailer, obviously, all of them. And I saw, like, a 3v3. Is that a thing? Like, or are you three different characters? So, it is... As far as gameplay mechanics go on the, like, slim fast version, you, uh... Just like in Marvel vs. Capcom, you pick three characters um, and you can swap them in and out during the fight. Uh, but it's been a while since I've actually looked at any of the new footage because that's specifically some older footage. I think that there's a different mechanic in the game where if a character dies, you have like a screen flash and the next character has like this huge animation for a round reset. That's sick. That sounds like good. It, I gotta try it. it. Yeah. Even even you will try that game and you'll be like, this is a fight. This is a Dragon Ball fighting game. Yeah. No, especially because like, uh, well, we won't go too deep into it, but it it, uh, it has that like that view, right? Like the original like arcade games kind of has, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's sick. I'm all about that. You got anything for us, Conti? I actually just uh, watched The Shape of Water. Which is a film by Guillermo del Toro. Mm. Um, I kind of don't know how to feel about the movie yet. It was, <laughs> it was like a Twilight Zone episode. The, the lagoon creature that he created looks amazing, and he's always known for the way he makes his creatures. Yeah. Uh, the, but the film itself, it's set in the '60s during the Cold War, and they're um conducting experiments and this mute lady which who is a, a cleaner at this facility um, sees him and starts to communicate with him through sign language teaches him sign language and then it gets weird where she falls in love with him and then saves him and then there's a scene where she fills up the bathroom with water and they're like floating and they they do the deed yeah, that's where it got weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where it leave got it, weird. Leave it to like Guillermo de la Torre. I'm like, oh wow, this is a cool. Oh, I wonder where they're gonna take this. Oh, oh, okay. He's, uh, mm. Oh, they're doing that. They're doing the fish. Right. 
thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So definitely, if you guys are into like that kind of thing, it's a must. No, but Guillermo always has amazing. You should stuff, just watch. Dude. Just watch it to say you watched it. You might like. Some people love it, and then some people really don't like it. <laughs> I, I mean, I watched it once. I, I'll probably watch the making of it, but not watch the film but again. Rewatch value isn't very high, huh? It's uh, not like yeah, the room. It's all right. All right. There's um, nothing like the room. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, let's, let's get into this movie. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit differently. Yeah. We're going to uh, give the film an overall grade out of 10 and let you know if it was badass, bad, good, or so bad it's good. And then we'll talk about a little different segments from each. Yeah. Um, so first of all, fight scenes, there were 12. Training scenes, there were seven. It was pretty consistent. It pretty was one packed. after another after yeah. another, which was really cool. I like that. Uh, overall, I will give this film a 7 out of 10. But I will give the film, it was a badass. It was a badass film. Definitely. It was action-packed. I love the action choreography. Uh, I think that if you want to watch a, a Muay Thai fighting genre flick, this is it. Hell yeah. Like, how many cool ways can you use elbows and knees i they did i thought they did a really good job of like doing different variations of that that kind of technique and so, they were slick yeah i didn't like the slow-mo effect that they had i wish it was kind of sh sharper yeah um it but it was more grungy like you could tell it was a lower budget film I think they were trying to like it felt like they were trying to recreate that 300 effect where they're like fighting and they slow down the camera and then they like you know they do a move and then they speed the camera back up yeah but it felt like when they were slowing it down it was like you were slowing down your vhs tape <laughs> yeah it was and not speeding smooth. up your vhs was, tape yeah um andrew what would you give it i'd have to agree with nikanti on the seven out of ten um and it is badass like i i can tell like the slow motion was a little like choppy i'd say but they definitely did a good job on emphasizing like how strong the characters are and like like they're taking out guys with three or four punches to the point where they don't get up anymore yeah you felt it during like you, during you the felt the, the impact movie. and you know like i think like like it was choppy but the general effect they're aiming for really was um What's the word I'm looking for? To like, improve impact. Yeah, like, it, it just, it worked. They, they did it. Uh, Con here with everybody's favorite segment. Nah. <laughs> Con's gonna, corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to be an outlier here and give it an 8 out of 10. I think that this soundtrack was that amazing. It was epic. There were a lot of like there were a lot of like horn instruments or at least like uh, strings and it definitely had like an orchestra like a big orchestra feel without feeling like too traditional they used a lot of tribal drums which is kind of fair for like a more period Thai like area piece for a lot of the music but it still felt modern it was great um and a lot of like th this movie was action packed. It was amazing. It loses a couple of points for not expanding on plot, but in general, I I had like way more fun with this movie than you guys did. I was like actually paying attention. <laughs> what I love this film. This was an awesome film. <laughs> but I've also seen it four times before today. See, I didn't know how many times you saw it. I think I saw it once, but it was like I wasn't paying attention. Like, today I was like, wow, I totally don't remember this movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give this movie a So Bad It's Good 7 out of 10. <laughs> and the reason being is, like, yeah, it was a low budget. Um, some of the, the effects, like the gore effects, were pretty bad. <laughs> they looked like they were out of, like, a, a 70s movie or something like that. Maybe that's a little too harsh, but um, but at the end of the day, the fight scenes were sick. They really showcased Muay Thai and, and then karate and just like 
the common the combine the combining of uh, you know karate slash samurai fight style um, and combining with the Muay Thai um, and and just just the two different fight styles clashing which is you know that's what you as a kung fu enthusiast always want to know would muay thai be karate would you know uh freaking i don't know uh kung fu be jujitsu whatever you know what i mean so you're always wanting to know which one's the better so i thought it was dope that they did that in this movie but uh the again it's a so bad it's good uh definitely got a good rewatch value for me and uh, I would recommend it. One of the badass moments that I really enjoyed was the whole training sequence of going um, from he was a he was a Japanese soldier, but he ended up surviving in Thailand, and he wanted to protect the people that saved him. And he wanted to become a student under them. And it just shows this process um, with a lot of good quotes about just training and life in general that everybody should definitely check out. D yeah. Did you have a badass moment, Andrew? Um, yeah. It kind of on the same lines as Nikonsi, how like they really like the badass moment for me was how they showed respect for each other. Like. He wanted to fight by the side of the people who saved his life and it, it a kind of like a rivalry was born to see if they could trust each other you know when alex saying like they're trying to see if this thai fighting technique can beat this japanese fighting technique and um yamada challenges calm gets his ass beat twice and they end up training and sharing each other's techniques and end up becoming like the ultimate badass duo you know and in the end a little bit of a spoiler alert Kam recognizes this bond that him and Yamada made and saves his life from being shot and killed. And friggin' Yamada goes ham on 11,000 people after that, <laughs> taking out the whole Japanese population. In, in like, Thailand or wherever it was, in the tiniest corridor, which, by the way, some of these shots like were amazing these were like really continuous fight scenes with like cuts that they made afterward where there's just like no 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 no. we still have you like here cutting off this guy's cutting off this guy's head we're backing up there's the whole oh there's like five other dudes oh no they're dead okay let's show wait 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 can we show how we killed them though yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> there's one part where i was like whoa where uh, he slices the guy's head off and then they do this anime thing where he, oh it like, was full anime he just looks away and then you see the guy's head slide off slowly oh it was beautiful yeah no i i love how so my badass moment was like yeah that final fight scene where um calm comes to assist his you know his homie uh yamada and uh how much of a presence he had on you know in front of that camera <laughs> um yeah and just freaking out over here he's like i want the, the hair <laughs> the hair man we kept calling him falco during the movie but he was very like the the choreographer was very deliberate about you know his ending pose after a strike so fun yeah. fact oh yes that guy is actually a muay thai champion well there you there go. You go. <laughs> I mean, no wonder he had. I mean, you can tell like his his technique was perfect. He, you know, like if I could compare the Muay Thai move to like taking a basketball shot, where you do the follow through, you keep your hand up in the air until the basket, you know, the ball goes in the basket. That's what the fuck Com's character was doing. What's what's the name of the actor? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's but, looking it up. So he has it right uh, there. I can't really remember any particular badass moments that we didn't already like you guys didn't already pull out but definitely i would have uh two what the fuck moments being the anim the full-on anime scene of his his face falling off that was like straight out of the 80s anime like they showed that they were okay with that what was going on uh and the other one would have to be 
in part mostly because of the sound the sound and the music in this uh movie was just fantastic but um at the beginning of the movie when he got stabbed and they were like showing off like how to like heal the wound and they were just massaging it i was like <laughs> I, I was just watching it and I'm like, this is why I appreciate sound because somebody had to sit on a microphone with like either cold, warm, cold meat, warm meat, or just jello and just like squish it for sound <laughs> effects. Like, ugh, it was just, just watching it made me feel gross. And I had to think of that and it made me feel a little less gross. It was just, ugh. If you're ever not feeling good, just, you know, just compare life to Jello. It'll, it'll be all right. Yeah, think of how many things you can do with Jello. You can you, make so many. You got things. the name? <laughs> so the guy that's the champion, his name, he played Asua, Asua. which was Buaka Banchamek. That's his name. I'm, I totally butchered that. Um, the other guy that was, that did really well uh is a different actor oh okay but he's yeah but they just they had real muay thai fighters in that film no for sure um okay so we're, we got a little of a of a different format today did we want to just go one by one just give the score to our usual categories and then just i mean we already broke down the movie enough uh, if you, you want to. If, you if not, we can just go right into the what the fuck moments. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I'm down mm -hmm. with that. Okay. So what the fuck moments for our guest host. It's just moments in the movie where you were just literally like, what the fuck is even happening? I'm going to give you guys mine just to give you an example, Andrew. Um, there was the moment where uh, Yamada was being like officially welcome in <laughs> by the master <laughs> and it was a beautiful uh moment where he like you know put some some paint on the dudes like it's forehead. ash wednesday <laughs> yeah like ash wednesday sign of the cross you know and uh and what he does is he takes yamada's hand or, or head in both hands and begins to sensually blow the paint dry on his forehead gotta caress like the entirety of his skull while it, also like got, blowing gently he, like he got so close and i was like is he kissing his forehead oh okay no he's just it, blowing it okay. i mean for sure it had some kind of cultural meaning to it but i i got taken out of the movie movie yeah. at that moment it's because we were like distracted and then we looked and caught it at the last second we're like wow what's going on it wasn't even like it wasn't even like the uh, some of our other what the fuck moments where like the music was off. It was like no 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 you guys just paid attention at a completely out of context moment. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was great. Some of my uh, what the fuck moment actually one of like the main one that got me right off the bat was like not only was like showing differences between skin tones but like straight up just the hair like. <laughs> they had crazy clean cut hair and then the people they'd be fighting had crazy like really long ragged hair like just to show opposites and like i, I don't know if it's oh like, the savages yeah like the savages <laughs> they, straight up like they're cavemen like they were really like it was a really weird scene too honestly like like in how context, they just, how they displayed just... them like they're just like on their fours like growling at their right. master talking to them basically like the real thing and i i feel kind of weird but also like pointing it out is just it's, it's got to happen the thing that I, I i thought that made them really feel like separated not just like random thai savages <laughs> was for whatever reason somebody in that group had a double-headed battle axe <laughs> was like wait how did they even find enough like iron and where did he get this like everybody's using like katanas or broadswords oh, i'm also a dwarf from speaking Lord of, the Rings. of weapons <laughs> when they were using uh the the sticks that were set on fire oh yeah the torches and fight it, the torch <laughs> yeah <laughs> sticks that were set on fire i have torches. an easier word for it <laughs> one word Tor what is a torch? <laughs> Ding! A <laughs> hundred points. <laughs> Good job, Alex. The They're using torches and fighting with what? Were, what else were they? It was a. Uh, it was like a short sword. Yeah, or so short. Katana. That was really cool. That Very cool. Uh, yeah. In particular, that had a really good like full anime what the fuck moment from me, and that was the flip. He, like, 
they were showing off um, i forget his name now but like calm I, th- I think it was yeah, and it was he calm. was just destroying everybody and either it was him or it was one other like shot i don't remember cause right now but he like slaps the guy with the torch and then just backflips <laughs> like <laughs> full on anime like i'm going to completely destroy your face with this backflip and like not only does he backflip while he smacks him the guy who got smacked does a backflip because of how hard this hit is it was it was beautiful i felt like it was one of those full-on 80s throwbacks like yeah they're showing it off they did it yeah that's what happens when you backflip somebody in the head (laughs) obviously (laughs) um any more what the fuck moments guys I, think that's no, I, I mean, it. we also covered badass moments too. That's heck yeah. That's part of them. <laughs> well, I hope you guys liked our new uh, format. We're just trying to make it a little more condensed, comp- condensed, a little funner. We can just talk about our favorite parts of the movies. Um, guys, send us your suggestions for our next movie. Check us out on Spotify. We're coming to iTunes very, very soon, and. Um, uh, what pl- what other plugs do we got? Everybody needs to go watch Black Panther. Everybody oh, go watch yes. Black Panther. Well, you probably already have by the time we release this. Tell us what you thought. Maybe we'll do a special episode on Black Panther. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of fun. There's martial arts in you know, Black Panther. And it involves a big suit, too, though. <laughs> and as a guest host, if you are going to watch this movie, please send us a kill count for each of the main characters. See how <laughs> many they killed. <laughs> I'm just curious. We need to start a kill count. We do. Seriously. Um, check us out on Instagram, HSTSC33. Um, and, you know, you know, check out the fun pictures, the fun stories of us setting up for the podcast. And then, uh, Con, we got your Twitch feed. Yeah, everybody, you know, come hang out on my Twitch. I watch stupid anime and stuff while playing games. Just It's, it's a fun hangout place. I got... Lots of other community members showing up now, so it's fun. I uh, spread the love there, too. Just, you gotta, you know, gotta stop by, hang out. <laughs> Heck yeah. And if you guys are listening to this on Saturday, happy Chinese Lunar New Year. Uh, year of the... What is the year of this? Year, year of the, the dag. Dog. Year of the dog. Year of the dag. Year of the dag. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. We're Hidden Shadows of the Secret Chambers. We're out. 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 We're out.